clearly the industry would not appreciate a further price cut. Um, if it does happen, I think you can say that it's quite clear that it's because in this country we have so much uh, control of the liquid market by supermarkets that although commodity prices are now improving in the world, butter, cheese and things like that, global prices beginning to stabilise or rise, the uh, obsession we have with the processors wanting to bottle for supermarkets means that the supermarkets have a big control and it takes a long while for that global market to have an impact on our own so we're still on a downturn possibly when the rest of the world is beginning to, to turn up and that has to change we can't go on like that we, we've seen we've, we've got the uh, the Arla milk link um, merger which has been good news yes. for, for the industry we've got uh, what appears to be very real progress in terms of a voluntary code of practice for the industry. We've also got at the same time rising commodity prices. If these, um, if these, if this milk price reduction turns out to be true, how much do you think that that's a sort of a last throw of the dice by the uh, liquid processors to, to try and push down the price before a, before a code of practice comes into force? I, I don't think I can. It'd be right for me to speculate on, on that. All I can say is that we do know that 50% of our milk consumption is liquid. Uh, and we know that the processors are still reeling from the fact that cheese, uh, cream prices went down badly for a long while, and they're not making the processors are not making a lot of money at the moment. So, uh, you know, whatever the cause is, we have to understand that for the producer, and therefore in the long-term interest, the consumer. Uh, our, our dairy industry is back under a great deal of pressure which they don't need. And you still feel that the voluntary approach is, is best when it comes to the code of practice? Well I'm absolutely certain the voluntary code is the better, it's far more all embracing and I think the whole of the industry appreciate that. I mean the only alternative is to go to the dairy package produced by the European Union which would not do anything for this current situation, it wouldn't stop prices being cut soon it, uh, or, or, in, or anything else, I mean it just wouldn't help. So a voluntary code would at least be a, a better way forward. It still won't stop prices rising and falling, uh, that has to be down to the market. What matters is that the processors give the, uh, uh, the producer a reasonable period of notice and that the producer can extricate themselves from their contract if they so wish at a also a reasonable period of notice.